गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स बिगिन अवर साइंस क्लास ऑफ लेसन ट्वेल्व दैट इज फ्रिक्शन टूडे द टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इज एडवांटेजेस ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ फ्रिक्शन सो दीज आर द टू टॉपिक्स विच आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन टूडे एंड दिस इज गिवेन ऑन पेज नंबर वन फिफ्टी फाइव ऑफ योर साइंस बुक so first i will explain you about the advantages of friction so the first advantage of friction is that it helps in us to walk that is how it the friction is helping us in walk to walk that is the friction between our feet and the ground helps us to walk on the ground without slipping or falling so what is there that is the friction is developed between our feet and the ground on which we want to walk and with the due to the help of this friction we are able to walk on the ground without slipping or falling the second advantage of friction is that it help us in writing on the paper with the pen or pencil so second advantage of friction students is what that the friction help us in writing on the paper with the pen or pencil and we are able to write because of the friction between the tip of the pen or the pencil and the paper so where the friction is developed the friction is developed between the paper and the tip of the pen and the pencil which enables us to write on the paper with the pen or pencil so this is the second advantage which i which i have explained now the third advantage of friction is that is the nails can be hammered into the block of wood due to the friction between the nails and the wood so the third advantage of friction is what students that is we are able to hammer or put the nails into the wooden block while making the furniture due to the friction between the nails and the wood the next advantage of friction is that is it helps in the movement of the vehicles on the ground or on road it is due to the friction between the tires of the vehicles and the ground which help in the movement of the vehicles without without slipping next advantage of friction is we are able to cut the things due to the friction between the surfaces in contact with the knife the next advantage of friction is that is the brakes of the vehicles the brakes of the vehicles work due to the friction when we apply the brake the vehicles stop due to the force of friction between the brake lining and the drum of the wheel so what is happening students you are seeing that how advantageous the frictional force is i have explained you that we are able to walk on the ground because of the friction second we are able to write on the paper with the pen and pencil due to friction third i have explained you that is we can hammer the nails into the wooden blocks while making the furniture due to the friction next is movement of the vehicles the vehicles are able to move swiftly on the roads on the roads without is slipping due to the friction between the tires of the wheels and the road surface of the road beside this we are able to cut the things with the help of the knife due to the friction between the surfaces in contact after that one two more advantages of friction are there that is the brakes of the vehicles work due to friction that is when we apply the brake the vehicle stops due to the force of friction between the brake and the lining uh, brake lining and the drum of the wheels the last advantage which i am going to explain the about friction that is the force of friction help us in lighting the match stick by raising the temperature of the chemical which is present on the tip of the match stick when we strike it 
against the rough surface as a result of which rubbing due to the friction heat is generated and this heat helps in burning the material which is placed on the tip of the matchstick and it catches fire so students i hope you have understood the various advantages of friction in our day to day life now i will explain you some of the disadvantages of friction so first disadvantage of friction is that it opposes the motion for example if anything is in motion or is moving then the frictional force since it acts in the direction opposite to the direction in which the force is applied or in which the object is moving and due to this friction the things come into rest position hence we can say that the friction opposes the motion so this is one disadvantage of friction the second disadvantage of friction is that it results in wear and tear that is for example the tires of our vehicles soles of shoes moving parts of the machines undergo wear and tear means they get damaged due to the continuous rubbing between the surface of the road and the sole of their shoes or the tire with the surface of the road on which they are running as well as when the various parts of the machines they rub against each other then due to this friction they get damaged and wear and tear develops the third disadvantage of friction is that it produces heat so when between the moving parts of the machines resulting in wastage of energy so these are some of the disadvantages of friction students i hope you have understood this today i have explained you about the advantages and disadvantages of friction now i uh, all of you note down the homework for today students you your homework for today is that you learn some of the advantages of friction as well as the disadvantages of friction thank you and have a nice day